Hey guys! So I think there were two things I wanted to speak about today. I think the first one that I wanted to talk about was the fact that it's really cool that um, because of social media we're able to um, sort of, we can choose who we'd like to keep track of and also who we'd like to keep track of us in a way. Because obviously there are people who you don't necessarily see on an everyday basis in your lives but who are perhaps, um, perhaps a larger part of your life before or um, perhaps they're internet friends who sort of want to become part of your life more um, but it's really cool that we get to actually sort of tailor who we'd like to see what in some ways but I think also just me able to pick because um, I think everyone sort of uh, shows a different part of themselves on social media in some ways but I think that's just because in many ways mo more of us have access to social media for a longer time than we have access to our friends you know face to face or whenever we're having conversations and therefore being able to use social media to share more about our lives on a daily basis and almost 24 7 if you'd like to share that much of yourself um it's really it's really interesting to see how much you know you can keep people in your life in different ways and i think social media is such a cool way of doing that i think the second thing i wanted to touch upon was just realizing that Although um, you have like an image of a person and um, like you sort of try and understand how they think, it's always important to actually listen to what they're saying and not how they're saying it because how they're saying it might be how you're used to them saying things but sometimes it is their choice of words that makes a bigger impact and therefore actually listen to the meaning that they're trying to convey with their, their, with their words and not the person you think you know them as is very important because I think it was just because I was listening to uh, Dear Hank and John today and one of the questions they were talking about was whether you should always be honest and I think um, Hank got, um, sort of accidentally misunderstood the question but you could sort of infer what he was trying to say like you know always sort of you don't necessarily have to be completely honest like you know you know it really does depend on the situation but because he forgot to um, add in the point about you know like you know look at the situation it really ended up sounding quite you know like don't tell the truth like don't rather than sort of saying you know you can tell the truth and, you know if you feel comfortable telling the truth then why not so it was it's really interesting it was really important that john was actually listening properly to actually pick up to pick up on the fact that hank hadn't actually addressed hadn't actually worded his response carefully enough because otherwise you know they wouldn't have sent out the right message and i think it was really important that he actually addressed that so I think that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching this little ramble and I will see you tomorrow. Bye bye.